Welcome to the channel. I am the Jamaican Scoop Diva. Now, despite the fact that there has been so much controversial over the drift song as it regards to the producer, um, DJ Mac, and the beef between him and the drift artist, um, TJ, um, the song continues to prevail. You know, it is indeed TJ's time. Now, recently Cardi B was seen performing, or should I say, dancing and grooving to the song Drift at her daughter's birthday party. Now, although she's not really advanced in the moves the, the good thing is that she knows the song and she's trying to do the dance and she doesn't care whether or not she can do the dance or not she is representing for the jamaica she's representing for dancehall and she is representing for tj so cardi b big up yourself big up your nice clean self happy birthday to your daughter culture thank you for representing and i know tj does really um appreciate this as he actually posted on his instagram and said you catch the dance yet cardi drifting on tagar wonderful and you know tony mataran responded you know laughing emoji king mix up no fit done um everybody was just laughing and it's just about fun but it is a good thing so at the end of the day it just comes to prove that as i said before once it is your time it is your time and no one can take that from you no matter what is going on in the background or the backdrop or whatsoever the song <laughs> prevails tj prevails and i am quite pleased about that let me know what you think in the comments <laughs> Recently, the angel went over Boston to perform at a show and she had a very interesting caption. Now, she put up a video and in the captions she said, keep my name out your nasty mouth, right? And she said, showtime, hashtag Boston, hashtag, hashtag ready. Now, in the comments, now you had persons commenting and say, watch right and strong. Now, let me track back a little bit. Recently or not so recently, Queen Africa gave the angel, among others, a good tongue lashing, saying that, you know, they were sellouts and saying that they are misleading the young people, especially the young women, into a lifestyle that is immoral. And, you know, Queen Africa has, has been very vocal about these matters. You know, she's been calling out a lot of names. You know, she's called out Spies. She's called out um, Lady Sae or Marion Hall. So many of them. So she has been saying a lot regarding to Queen Africa and one particular term that she used was wrong and strong. Now after that the angel did respond to Queen Africa along with Reza B in a live. They did a live where it was a group live so all three of them were in the live and Queen Africa did indeed address this matter or address what she said in terms of being wrong and strong meaning the angel being wrong and strong in terms of they are leading or misleading the young people misleading the population with their you know um, secular music and the certain types of lifestyle that they preach at. Queen Africa even went as far as to say that she doesn't like the fact that, you know, the angel does only fans as she is actually encouraging young women to do the same. Of course, the angel responded by rejecting this because she's saying her decisions in her personal life does not affect who she is as a humanitarian because as you know, as the angel even claimed herself, she received awards for being a humanitarian of the year. So, with that being said, the comment that says watch right and strong is a plain old, um, I would say, clap back at Queen Africa. Now, mind you, it wasn't the angel who wrote this comment. But I mean, obviously, if she said, keep my name out your nasty mouth, I would say she's directing it to um, Queen Africa. So she's saying, Queen Africa, keep my name out your nasty mouth. Because Queen Africa has been the most recent and the most vocal person as it regards to the angels um short, short life decisions as well as her personal life which is the only fans let me know what you think in the comments below Now we have Sizzler who did a performance recently and he took the time out to basically show his disapproval or to express his disapproval of the government of Jamaica by doing certain things. 
Now, he addressed the fact that the embassy has now have the colorful flag, the rainbow color flag, the alphabetical order flag, and he's saying that he 100% disapproves of that, and he doesn't care what they think, or he doesn't care if they don't agree with him disapproving of that type of lifestyle, because he's saying that he doesn't care if he gets a visa or not, because he's comfortable where he is, and so he's going to always speak about them, despite the fact that whosoever speak about them, their visa gets revoked, or they get denied or rejected. So he's also saying that, that, that group has not done anything for Jamaica. And, you know, um, CISDA has been very vocal about burning a fire on these things. It's one of the most bonfire stemmen along with um, Capleton himself. And, you know, everyone has a right to freedom, a right to make a decision. But CISDA believes that this right or this type of lifestyle should not be legalized in Jamaica. As he believes they are, you know, not righteous. Let me know what you think in the comments. And with that being said... This is the Jamaican Scoop Diva. Please like, share and subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the notification bell and leave your comments below. Please take care of yourselves.